I'm joined by Art Hogan, National Security's chief market strategist. 43%, can they even put a number on it? Because do we even really know what the impact is going to be? We really don't, Dom. And that's the problem. Two of the, two of the biggest problems are the sequential quarter, the, qu the, the second quarter or first quarter, is going to look particularly bad because we were involved with COVID-19 for the entirety of the second quarter. It really thrust into the uh, economic activity in the second quarter. We had one or two good months in the first quarter. So sequentially, we're going to look bad enough. But right now, after the first quarter earnings, everybody cut their guidance. So every estimate that's out there right now is literally a best guess. It's certainly not something that we do. anybody has a great deal of confidence in. So it's hard to know just how bad this is going to get. But here's the good news. All of that's anticipated. I don't think anyone is looking at the second quarter as a, as a highlight of the data that we're going to uh, uh, react to this year. I certainly think if we get some guidance, remember, there's about 17 S&P 500 companies that gave guidance last quarter for any any part of the second quarter. So really, we don't know what's going on. And we hope that as the second quarter went on, we saw sequential improvement in the, in the last month and heading into the summertime as activity started to pick up with reopenings. So this is one of those quarters where we know everyone gets the, the ability to throw in the kitchen sink here. Expectations have never been lower. And I certainly think that we're going to learn more about the future than we will about the past. So, so then let's talk about the types of companies, because there are a certain handful of companies that I knew traditionally I looked at as possible canaries in the coal mine, benchmarks, leading indicators of what's happening elsewhere in the economy. What types of companies will you be watching more closely this earnings season to give you some sense of what's going to happen for the rest of the year? Well, I think on one end of the spectrum, that's a great question. On one end of the spectrum, you look at the companies that we know had fared well during the economic slowdown. And I certainly think that those are some of those companies that are making the new highs like yesterday with Amazon and Netflix. We know that handful of technology companies that seems to do well agnostic of the level of economic activity. Probably more important to us is hearing from companies like FedEx. FedEx had a nice uh, uh, report last week. Transportation stocks, are we actually delivering a lot of package to people? But even more so, anybody that's involved in travel and leisure, are they seeing a hint of reopening, actually reaccelerating some of their businesses? And will these be ongoing concerns? So I think... On one end, you've got that, you know, the, that class of stock that is going to do well um, in, in a pandemic, as we've seen, where people are staying at home and quarantining. And the other end of that spectrum is all those things that we're probably going to do last and just how bad are those industries. So think about travel and leisure, cruise lines, hotels and airports. Somewhere in the middle lies the rest of the S&P 500. And we hope that there is a sequential improvement month over month as the quarter ended. And as we head into the new quarter, we're hearing highlights of glimmers of hope that things are looking better. Art, what needs to happen with this earnings season in particular, because there's a plethora of variables outside of earnings season, what do companies, yeah, you know, what, what, what do companies need to say, Art, this I time that, around that, that's for, really them to, for, for them to continue we're, this bull run? Yeah, I think we're at a point right now, Dom, where I think the incremental information we get on COVID case discovery has largely become more important to investors than economic data and earnings. I think this is a quarter we know is going to be terrible. I think any any sort of guidance that things have gotten a bit better heading into the third quarter as the third quarter has started and certainly as they ended the second quarter is going to be something that is going to help a great deal. But understand now, we are clearly coming into this with the lowest expectations you and I have ever seen. And I think that's understandable because this is the first pandemic we've gone through. But I think what's more important is right now, investors seem to be paying more attention to what's going on in the here and now in the, in the southern states and southwestern states and new case discovery hospitalization rates than they are at, at things like the weekly jobless claims. So I think it's important to understand that when we line up our priorities and earnings season is kicking off, it probably comes in second or third in terms of what investors are paying attention to about the future. 